Right, so, hello YouTube. Right, a lot of things have gone on. Number one, I have a new haircut, but I slept on it last night and it's been just, just been repermed. Um, so it's really tight on the top of my head. A bit bedheadish sort of thing, you, you know what I'm saying. Long, more, moral of the story, just allow the hair for today, okay? Just, that's all I ask, just no comments on the hair and we're good to go. Right, so I'm trying to stay happy minded about this, but I don't know how I can be happy minded about it. I am setting off to Barcelona today. Right, yeah, happy about that. But, there is a big problem. And when I say big problem, I mean like, big problem. So, my kneecap is no longer working. Um, I was at Corby yesterday practicing, learning some bangers for my world finals run, getting getting everything set down, getting all that stuff. And I went to do a trick, and instead of landing right on a flare, it's a back flip 180. So, you go up this way, you back flip, and you land this way. I went up, did a back flip, tried to put something in it, which I'm not gonna tell you, because you have to wait for the world finals run, if I can do it. Went up, Landed back down straight, and my knee just went like ba boom Popped out to that way, and now it's just like, how do I say it's in pain? Um, it's in pain. Yes. Can't move it. It's stiff. It pops in and out. It's disgusting. Um, I'll try and show you it popping in and out. No. Wait. It's not doing it. And I promise you, I am not lying. Um, it will do it at some point. And I'm sure I'll be on one of my vlogs about it. Second thing, we have lots of new new things in, in the house. Yes, I'm gonna explain to you. So, if you're from the UK, I don't know if you're gonna know what Jim King is. If you do, then it's a pretty lit clothing brand. The owner of that has started up a new company called Badder. Go check out on Instagram, I'll put the a thing there. So go hit them up, they just sent me this like, long sleeve tee. This, and my pink one. I like my favourite teas ever, like, I don't know, I just like it. Secondly, I have another new thing. No, wait, not secondly, but continuing the second thing. So I'm going to keep them like, oh my god, they are the sexiest things I've ever seen in my life. They are so light. They are honestly so light. What even is life? Tyson, just tell me how light these are. Just approve of how light, oh yeah, he loves them, he loves them. Shout out to Drone for sending me the wheels. Um, I'm going to whip some bearings in right quick. Oh yeah. I feel like this is just a shout out day. Shout out to Students Gates for all the canvas boxes. Go hit them up with the comfiest things ever. Ugh. How do you put bearings in without wrecking the bearings? I think it's actually gonna work. <gasps> this is the sickest way to put bearings in ever. Nah, this is so sick. I'm gonna have to try and cover up the wheels. I'll tell you what, I'll just show you this way. Right, so you put a bearing on, the middle spacer, another bearing, and then spacers and tighten it. And I think, I've not actually, Done it yet, but I think when I tighten it, it's gonna push the bearings in. Hopefully, maybe. If I'm lucky. Oh my god. Imagine if I actually had a spanner. I'm gonna go get one. Two seconds. We have a spanner. Right. Where did I put the wheel? Oh, you don't know Where did I literally just put that wheel? Back in a second. Yeah, back. Right, I had to. You carry on biting me. Go on. Watch. Watch me nut ya. Watch me nut ya. No way. Oh, it's legit work. Wait, does it actually spin? <gasps> it's worked. Scooter hack. Good to go. Right, so that's that done. Moving on. So. Quick question, who knows Elite and Supremacy Scooters? It's like a pretty big brand, it's a um, long story short. I had a little conversation with the owner the other week um, over on Facebook, and he was nice enough to send me out a couple of parts like to test and have a little ride off, and we're gonna show you what I've got. At the end of this video, I'm gonna be revealing my world final scooter. Like I said, whether or not I'm actually gonna be able to ride, I'm, tr I'm trying to forget about it. Trying to forget about it. Whether or not I'm actually going to be able to ride in the world properly to my full potential is a different story. But my scooter for the world, oh my god, oh my god, it is the nicest thing ever, ever, ever. I'm going to be showing you that very shortly. But until then, I'm going to show you the parts that Will sent me. Oh. Who remembers the last video that I filmed? Do you remember when I put the paint splatter on my deck and I was like, oh, this is the nicest thing ever? Oh my god. What? I wish I could just freeze how it is and keep it like that, it looks sick. I really wish someone could make me one of these decks. I'm, I'm not saying they made me this deck, but... Oh my god. Is that not the same sort of concept as the thing that I made outside? Take a look at that bad boy. Ooh, ooh. It's so nice. What are you backing at? It's like a, a weird sort of tribal design. Literally the sickest deck I've ever seen in my life. It's 22 inches long, so I'm most probably going to be putting that down for a video. I'm sure you'll be seeing that some places. 
Second layer. Revolution bars. These are steel. Very nice. Very nice indeed. These ones aren't as such my sort of bars. I'm more the sort of person that rides aluminium, titanium. I'm not saying the I'm not saying they're not light. All I'm saying is, I don't ride steel. Steel is heavier than aluminium and titanium. So I most probably won't be riding these. But if you like steel bars, then I don't know. These these could be the ones for you. Pretty lit. Moving on. Now these. These would have looked good on the world final setup, but these are heavier than the other ones. Like I said, I'm a weight weenie. I love it all. Nice and light. So check out these. <laughs> Air ride wheels. Very nice indeed. The rest of the box just got like headsets and that sort of stuff in it. Moving on. I honestly don't think you're ready to see the scooter yet. So that's the end of the video. No, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm going to show you the scooter. Oh, we need a countdown, boys. Are you ready? Three. No, wait. No, just. Let me try that again. Oh my god. Just look at it. Just look at it. Oh my god. Get some close up on this. scooter is revealed. Um, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Like I said, once again, can't thank at Scoot and Skates enough, at Elite Scooters for obviously the forks and wheels and the grip tape, which is like, I think supremacy or something. Go follow them all, the links will be on the screen and all that sort of stuff. Hopefully my knee isn't going to let me down for the World Finals. If it does, I'm going to be so gutted. You, I can't even explain to you how hard I work for this. There's a lot of the tricks that I have saved that I don't think I am going to be able to do, like truthfully honest. Like coming to terms with it, I don't think I'm going to be able to do them. So, if not, I think I am going to release the clips that I've been doing that was supposed to be my run in an edit, because I feel like there's definitely enough. So, we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, currently fourth in the world. Probably not going to be when I come back, as my knee is bash, bash. Bash! <laughs> Bash! <laughs> Joking, bro, I love it. His teeth are stuck. <laughs> his teeth are stuck, look at his teeth. <laughs> so, yeah, wish me luck. And let me know what you want to film. Let me know what you want me to film over there. Because hopefully, I'm going to be getting some pretty sick videos done. See what goes on. Peace! Say bye, Tyson. I said say bye. Come on, just high five. High five. High five. Yes! Who's a little bogo? Yes! For all you people that said my dog don't love me. He does. He does.